think I'm short-tempered because I, at times I could be, you know, pretty calm and good-tempered. But like my brother, for instance, he'd be watching, he, I'd be watching a program, I'd be very interested in it. And he, you see, he's, um, you know, mad over sport. And he would want to change over, you know, switch over to another channel to see sport. And that would really get me angry because, you know, I'd feel like, um, you know, a volcano where it just comes slowly up the lava, comes up and then bursts out like that. That's the way I'd feel. You know, I'd really burst out in him. You know, I'd, you know, I'd start shouting at him and everything, and he'd shout back at me. But um, I, I'd really feel very angry. But when this volcano starts inside of you, can't you stop it? No, definitely not. I couldn't. I, I just can't really control my anger. You know, it really, it really comes up. You know, there's, it's, if it starts, there's no stopping it, really. Well, when you flare up like this, when, when you get angry, like a volcano, <laughs> how long does it last? Um, well, I'd, uh, well, say, um, my mother would come in after about a few minutes, and then I'd run up to my bedroom and work it off there. How do you mean, work it off? Um, I try and read. I can't, you know, I couldn't really take it in. I'd look over the words, but that, but that's about all, you know, and then gradually I'd get more interested in the story and gradually then my temper would go down and then I'd feel a bit, um, feel a bit more calmer and then I'd go down for my tea. My brother then tease me for being angry and then I'd get angry again, most likely. People call me ginger bop, but my, my, I don't think my hair really is ginger. I think it's red and when, I, when they call me names, I, 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 don't, I don't really let, let them know that I'm going to go for them. And they say I get, I get a kind of sick in the stomach and my blood boils up and I clench my fists and I look at them in the eyes like this and then, and then I run after, and I run after them and, and they, they usually run away but sometimes I, I, I get them and I punch them. But I don't like the name uh, Ginger Bob. What, what, what is ginger bop? It's a bop, it's a loaf. A loaf the, of bread? Yes, a loaf of bread. How about you? What kind of a person do you reckon you are? Well, I feel that I'm usually honest, but sometimes I'm rather dishonest. How do you mean? You know, well, if I've broken the light and mummy comes in and uh, she says, who's broken the light? And I say, and I, I say, I didn't do it. She says, well, who did? And I say, I don't know. And uh, mummy says, dear Mid, I th you, get, you look as if you're guilty. It must have been you. Well, that's when you look guilty. Yes. But what about when you're trying to look innocent? What kind of a look is that on your face? Well, it's one pre uh, th pretending that, that I know nothing about it. What does it look like? I guess. It's looking up to the angels. Yes. And when you're guilty, what do you look like? I look like this. What about you? Is there anything that um, makes you jealous? There's things like um, sometimes I do not really like or are getting a new pair of shoes, a new pair of socks, as long. If he gets a new pair of shoes and I get a new pair of shoes, it does a class, I don't care, it doesn't beat anything. But if one of them gets it, and the other, I don't, life in muck, on muck, uh, mad, and I'm really mad. Yeah, I'm ready to box them, if you know what I mean. You know where there's a stick of dagger on um, them? You know, you do know that kind of a feeling. Uh, well, it has to be like that. You can break his neck. And where is this feeling inside of you? Sometimes it comes from inside of you. When you get in, when you get in the middle of the minute, you're gonna go. My favourite emotion is excitement. How do you mean? Well, excitement is a great thing. You feel sort of butterflies in your stomach. You feel all funny and all. You feel, you feel very nice and great. You feel great. When does this happen? For instance, when I was going on a trip to Germany with a school. And um, we were told about six months before it, and I was allowed to go. And I was very, very um, excited that I was allowed to go. And I was, had butterflies in my stomach nearly every day, waiting for the day to come. When it ended, I felt the, the excitement left me, 
I don't want to go back again, you know? And what did you feel like then? Sad. And what's this like? It's, um, if, yeah, it's a very bad feeling. You feel sad and you feel sick if you're sad. Sometimes I feel sick, sometimes if I'm sad. Have you ever been in love yourself? Uh, no. Not, I can't say I can. I was. Why not? Because I don't like being in love. How do you mean? Well, I really um, want to be a spinster myself because it gives you much more time to do things. And if you're, if you're married, well, you have to go home and rush if you were um, a singer, you'd have to rush your interviews now. But what is wrong with being in love? I mean, what does it feel like? You mean love? Yeah. Well, you feel, it feels like a man likes you too much and you like him too much and then he proposes to you. And then that feels like being in love. You, you feel um, all soft. If you were a hard person, you'd go all soft. So you would. And where do you feel this most? In your heart. Mm-hmm. In your heart? But it's not a nice feeling. Oh, uh, it is. But not if your parents object to it. Now, you don't want to run away from home with your boyfriend if um, your parents object to it, do you?